What is going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to another episode of the Portsmouth career mode series. This is episode number 108 now guys, and we are going to be starting today's episode off by going into this game against Fulham. But before we do that, I want to thank you guys for all the support that you did give on the last episode. On the last episode, I did ask you guys if you would prefer me to do more live commentaries than post commentaries. And from the response on that last episode, I think it's fair to say that you guys do prefer the live commentary episodes. We're going to be doing a few more of them and we will mi mix it up every now and then with a couple of post commentary episodes every now and then. But we are now going to be going back into this career mode. We've got a game coming up against Fulham. Probably going to go ahead and sim this one, although it is an away match. So that may be a little bit of an issue. We have other games though that are much more important than this Fulham match. We've got a game here against Barcelona in the group stage. That could really decide whether we go through in the group stage of the Champions League. We also have a game against Tottenham as well. Maybe we'll get to that and then maybe we'll also get to the Capital One Cup round of 16 match. We'll just have to wait and see how far we do end up getting in today's episode. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Barclays Premier League. Today it's Fulham against Portsmouth. Without further ado, let's take you straight to Fulham. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler. This really is a must-win game. Fulham are currently in 12th, but more importantly, we are looking to beat Swansea at the top of the table. We've played six games so far this season, and we've done very, very well. But we need to improve today and get the right result in this match. A win against Fulham here would really, really well help us in our title race, to be honest. Looking at their lineup. Don't really know too many players that they have signed. Of course, they've got Scott Loach, our former goalkeeper. And apart from that, they've got some other good players in there. This is amazing. And we get it into Bigger Romana. And that is a really good save by our former goalkeeper, Scott Loach. Bigger Romana, that was the last of the players that I wanted it to fall to. Because he really can't finish. Ben and Williams, he's just way too strong. He's just going to barge past all of the defenders. On this right hand side. And then we're going to get it into Zivkovic. We're not able to take the shot. But let's get this one out wide to Yedlin. He's going to get there. And he's going to bring in a really good cross into the middle. And Jordan Ibe has scored a header. And that's the second header in a two episodes that we managed to score. And to be honest before that. I don't know when we ever managed to score a header. But what a goal it is by Jordan Ibe. A really really good header. So it is 1-0 at half time in this match. And we're having a little look at the injury there. So Bigger Romana does have a plaster or a bandage next to him. So maybe it is worth taking him off just to avoid aggravating his injury. And we'll play it into Jordan Ibe who's going to have another shot. And he's denied his second goal of the game by a really good save again by Scott Loach. Into Jordan Ibe. And now it's time to turn on the Jets. Get round the defender. And how is he catching up? I have no idea. He's not catching up. And again, it's another good save by Scott Loach. Although that was a bit of a terrible finish. Right at the goalkeeper. All he had to do was stand down for that one. What the hell was that for a pass? That was terrible. And now we've got... Oh my god, no. I can't believe it. What a terrible pass. We give away the ball. Look at that. They get the ball back. Where are our defenders tracking that run? I have no idea. Can't believe that. I really just can't believe that. I'm absolutely heartbroken. We're going to be getting a draw in this match. We don't even deserve... Well, they don't even deserve to get a draw. Oh, my God. How on earth is that a draw? I don't know. I probably would have got a better result sim in the match. And I end up drawing the match to Fulham. Thanks to some very bad passing and some good pressing, to be fair to Fulham. Late on in the match, they pressed, they pressed, they pressed. And they ended up getting the reward for that. They got the equaliser. And unfortunately, we are derived of getting the three points in this match. And they rubbed the salt in the wounds there. They say that Gail Bigaramana is going to be out for three weeks. We end up drawing against Fulham. Not the end of the world, but then we've got an injury there to Gail Bigaramana. And another midfielder, another crucial midfielder is out for some time now. David Ryan, after that match as well, wants to have a little look at his contract. He's still got four years remaining on his current deal. He's on £500 a week and he wants twenty grand a week. You can forget that right away. Twenty grand a week for a player that doesn't even get into the first team. It's a lot of money, it really is. And I was saving that really for January. What I will do for now is give him a contract that he just won't accept, basically. I'll just give him that for now. 
and he will end, end up rejecting that and that's absolutely fine because well I'm not going to want to give him 20 grand a week at this moment in time. So we do have a game here against QPR. I am going to go ahead and sim this match, even though they are quite high up in the table. The main reasoning behind simming this match against QPR is that we do have a much more important match coming up. And that, of course, is going to be against Barcelona in the Champions League group stage. We get off to a really good start in this match. Mandron getting a goal early on in the match in the sixth minute. And we do have a fairly rotated side, I would say. So I'm hoping we can still pick up a win in this match. Boga makes it 2-0 after coming off the bench. Then their goalkeeper gets an injury there. So surely they're not going to come back from that. And I don't think they are. We end up getting a 2-0 result. And a very, very good result against QPR. Just in time as well. We got two players returning from injury. Well, I believe that one was actually over a week ago now. So Chaloba has returned from injury. And Gail Bigaramana has also returned to the squad as well. He may have returned to the squad and he may be a very good player, but he's got a bandage by his name. So I'm not really too sure if I want to risk him in this match. I think I'm going to have to because Barcelona, they are not a pushover. They're going to be a very strong side. And because of that, we're going to go five at the back against them. We're going to go all dirty against them, go all out against them. And by all out, I mean all out of defense. We've got Ulreich, then we've got our three centre-backs, Milo Savic. We've got Brooks, who I'm going to put on the left because he is left-footed. And then we have Lascelles. We also have Yedlin and Hong Chu as our full-backs. Then we have Prosperi, Rafa and Chaloba. And I'm, what I may actually end up doing, yeah, I, I am going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to switch out Rafa and I will put in Dele Ali actually. The reasoning behind that is because Prosperi, I'm actually going to push him further forward and put him as a cam really because I think he would actually do a little bit better there. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Champions Cup. Today it's Barcelona against Portsmouth. We're off to the camp new now. And the yeah, I think it's fair to say I'm going to part the bus for the time being because Barcelona, they're going to be having a lot of possession. I need to get a lot of men back in order to basically counter their passing play and getting so many men forward. Red card. Give him a red. That is a terrible challenge. Give him a red now. I bet they give him a yellow. Yes, they give him a red. Thank you. You're not a biased referee. And they get a red card for that. Christian Tello, in fact, is the one that gets booked for that. And look at this challenge. I could have seen Hong Chul get injured there. That was a terrible, terrible tackle. I need to stop this fancy passing because it just really isn't working. And they should have scored again. Messi missing another golden opportunity. And I was really, really let off from that one. They are down to 10 men, but we have still not been able to find the breakthrough in this match. Not saying we're going to win, but we do have a good opportunity, now that they are down to 10 men, to at least capitalise on that. And at least create some chances on goal. Oh, wow. Don't do this. Do not do this to me. Let's get this one away. Oh my god, another golden opportunity missed. Is that a sign that we are meant to win this match? I don't know. Play this one short, maybe. And then get it inside. In here to Chalobo, who's going to have a shot. And it's rebounded out to Alvarez Belanta. And he gets his first goal. And that is a very important time for him to get his debut goal for Portsmouth. And we get the goal here against Barcelona. They're down to 10 men. And look at that, a powerful shot. And then it falls to Alvarez Belanta, who almost misses. And that really is, just like I said, a very, very crucial time to get his debut goal for Portsmouth. And I'm so happy that he's managed to score. They're getting a cross into the middle. They're really getting desperate now. And we haven't cleared this one well. And it's fallen to Neymar. And then it's fallen to that man. Oh, no. I can't believe it. How? We've got so many men back. And then they find Mascherano who gets the goal. So two centre-backs in this game scoring. And that really is that really is heartbreaking again. Run. Go. Run into the space. Is this going to be the time that we get the goal? No. To Stegen makes a save. Really. Was he going to make a save there or any other opportunity? If that was Zivkovic there, I'm sure he would have scored that. Bittersweet, really, because Barcelona, they are a good team. They're probably the best team in the group. 
But we needed the three points more than they did. And we only got a point from that match. Mascherano equalised after Belanta got a goal. Very disappointing in my eyes. Very, very disappointing indeed. Somehow that still means that even though we got a draw against Barcelona, we go into second place. Malmö and Moskva obviously drew their match, so that's absolutely brilliant. After eight games in the Premier League, we're currently drawn on points at the top of the table with Swansea. And it looks like they're going to be our biggest rivals for the title this season. That is if they keep up their current form, as it really doesn't hold any significance. Plus, I'm a little bit restricted on time at the moment, so in the next episode, to make up for it, I will probably end up doing five games in one episode. Broken the game, just broken the game. So we end up winning this one 2-0. It's a very, very good result in this match, and that is exactly what I expected. Jordan Ibe getting both of the goals. It's a shame that Zivkovic didn't get on the score sheet. Once again, I do want to apologise that I don't have more games that I've actually played in today's episode. I've been really, really restricted on time at the moment. Hopefully you guys understand that. It just means that we will get to the transfer window a little bit faster as well. So I'm sure you guys will look forward to that nonetheless. And in the next episode, I will probably do an extra long episode. We will have the Capital One Cup game against Manchester United. And we will also cover most of November. So that will be a very, very good episode of Career Mode. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. And if you have enjoyed this episode of Career Mode, then of course feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. But apart from that, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode of Career Mode. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.